Hi guys, it's Ophenia and Sikal here and today we want to share with you guys three keys how to find the courage to make the change. Now with these three keys you will actually be able to make those changes that have been waiting for you to action for a long time. We are sharing our insights and perspective on spiritual life to ignite and awaken starseeds and lightworkers to their mission to an even higher and more expanded consciousness. We share from our modern mystery school teachings to assist initiates on their path of ascension. And who are we? We are spiritual life coaches, teachers of universal consciousness. We're intuitive empaths and channels. We are twin flames and we are parents of four new children. Mm -hmm. So the first of these three keys is to actually get the clarity and guidance on what changes need to be made. So the changes you feel need to be made, it is important that they're coming from spirit and from guidance, not, yes. oh, I just have to change something because I need to feel different. I just need to move house because something needs to be shaken up really get clear guidance and when you know spirit has been talking to you for quite a long time or even a short time but it's very clear that you need to make these changes then that is the first key really knowing what the change is and is it spirit guided or is it personality guided is it this is what I should be doing this is what I think would be good or is it this is what my heart feels even though it's scary this is what my spirit is saying even though it's scary or it's challenging or it's big and I don't know where to start or how to do it that's absolutely key one getting clarity that it is guidance from spirit and your support team because then you cannot go wrong in this process Absolutely. And one of the areas to, to really watch in yourself, if you look over times in the past where you may have stayed in a situation a bit too long, you know what I mean? The times in a relationship possibly where you've stayed maybe two years too long, waiting, waiting, or you stayed in a job too long, or in a, a suburb that you no longer connected with, or you continued a habit or behavior that later you realized that you just, you didn't realize at the time that it would have been preferable for your whole system if you had have just done it when you first got the guidance to do it. But you were patient, blah, blah, blah. It's really important in these times with the high ascension energies to just really get clear on that. So whether, however mm. it is that you get clarity, what do I really want? Okay, well, this person isn't changing. Okay, well, I really need to look at that. I want to change, so maybe it's up to me. If they want to change, they can catch up with me later. Or uh, I want to just do, so, do, do some soul searching, some, there's a feeling in you, you need to change something, but you're not sure. Just do lots of writing, do yeah. lots of meditation, just get the guidance, you know, do some EFT tapping, um, physical activity to just really drain the old energies out and just get some clarity, you know, to really find the key, the, the, the heart of what it is that you want, yeah. not the illusions that might be in the way of that. The, yeah. the, that I want to stay in this relationship and so I need to change myself to be more patient or whatever, whatever. Really get rid of any illusions, any limited beliefs, uh, all of that type of things so that the clarity is really just above board. There's no veils there. Yeah, and also be very mindful that the information is initiated from you for the change because you can get information from others and books and things like that however only if you've asked for that clarity first yes. don't go hoping that others will have the answers for you because it'll come from within you and watch out for programs that are there as in this is how these type of changes go this is the norm this is how you're supposed to react you can't just do that if you just take a job and you stop doing that job it's not good for your career it's not good for your CV you can't do that so break open the boundaries of expectations and parameters that are set within the current 3d matrix meaning let it all go yeah. and be open to any solution. That is clarity and guidance. So that's key one. Absolutely. 
Okay, so key number two is the willingness to make the change, to let go and make the change. And connected with that is logistics around by sorting out your logistics on how to make the change, it can really open up the willingness. It can allow the willingness to blossom, the petals to open, where your personality says, oh, there's other options. Mm. Right. Okay. So we want to make this change. There's these uh, options here, which are the normal general options. However, maybe if I go a little deeper, maybe if I really open my mind and my heart, to all options there might be new new sort of ideas that come through so really be open to that there really will be a highest level solution for you and you might get a little bit at a time um, and when you do this it assists your personality slash ego to just settle down a little bit and then your willingness will go up to make a change, you need a high willingness. It needs to be, in our perspective, at least 80% or high yep. to really be able to even make some steps forward. If, if your willingness to change is less than 80%, it's just like, ah, oh, ah, oh, I really want to change that. But nothing ever changes. It's just like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, against the brick wall. So it's, it's your personality just really staying safe stuck due to fears, due to safety, due to um, the programs of how things just need to be, the uh, fears or worries of the future, the, the concerns you're going to recreate the past, whatever it is in that particular area, it's, it's pulling you and keeping you down uh, so that you don't make that change. And so by supporting your personality to know that it's safe, to know yep. that if it's something different, we're going to take the steps so that you're okay. And then the blossoming of the, the personality can really open up the willingness levels and then you can really pop up. So sometimes you need to really push the boundaries of the comfort zone with the, with the personality and just jump. And other times it's, it's really figuring out the logistics, you know, and that's, that's like the coaching your own personality. Okay, these are some ideas. I could go into that area. I don't like my job. What are some areas that would work for me? What do I enjoy doing? Okay, this relationship isn't working. We could make a step by step, have a bit of a break or this whole home isn't working but I've owned it for 30 years and yep. my family wants me to mm. keep it and blah 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 okay so maybe we could rent it first maybe we could do this maybe we could do that etc etc so so really looking into alternative ideas to support your personality to just calm down it's okay we are going to make a change just so you know however let's make it so that you're comfortable with it but we need to keep the movement going otherwise we you know you get stuck again and within these logistics, if you look at things without getting in complex or too in detail, the first level of guidance you get from your spirit at key one was, let's call that strategic, from your presence, okay, this change needs to be made. The next level is you could call tactical, so sort of in between, the next step in getting the details sorted. And guess what? That's when you can really map out some logistics and then get further guidance on those. You might say, okay, well, these are three routes I can take and then get guidance on which one feels right. Does this feel right? No, I'm just not feeling, I'm not feeling that that's right. Um, it doesn't mean you can't be afraid, mm. but if you just, something isn't right, then really look at it and work through some layers. And if it yeah. just doesn't sit right, it's probably not the right way to go. Mm. And so your spirit and your teams can really talk to you about these logistics, which will then help you to increase your willingness to change. Because like Ophelia said, if your willingness isn't at least at 80%, it's going to be super, super hard. It's going to be one of those mental, oh yeah, I'm going to do my, I'm going to get it on willpower. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it all happen. And guess what? After a little while, it's Fresh. all back to normal again. Yeah. Yep. The way it was is a better way of saying that. Mm. So that's where key two comes in is to really look at that willingness to change and look at the logistics, get guidance on the logistics and make sure everything can happen so that if you do want to make that change, that you have those logistics at that next tactical level sorted. So the final and third key, surprise, surprise, <laughs> find the courage, do it and act. 
act. Yes. You've got guidance at key one. You've created some solutions at key two and gotten some clarity on those solutions. And you know what needs to be done. Three, do it. Jump. That courage is innately in your cells. It's in yeah. your DNA. It's with your spirit. Ask for it to be downloaded into you. Draw it up from Gaia. And every big step in your life, even a little big step, needed courage. Every big thing you've done in your life, whether it was a little big thing or a big, big thing, how it felt to you, needed courage. You have tons of courage available to you. You need but ask. You can even anchor a temple of courage when you need it and then do it. Do not wait. If you know now that things need to change with these heightened energies, if you wait another month, you're not going to get more clarity. If you know it's now, then make the change. Do it. Even if you don't know exactly what's next, because that's often the veil that we have on in this reality. You're not going to see 10 years ahead now. It's just not going to happen. So you've got to make the move. When you're playing chess, you've got to just make a move. You don't know all the next moves that are coming, but you've got to feel guided at key one. And then at key two, you create the logistics and work with that willingness to change. Get that as high as you can. And then step three, be courageous, make the change and do it. Yes. Jump, fall. You've done all your prep work. You've done the homework. You've gotten your guidance. It's time. And the courage will be there. Call it in. Call it in. Yes, the other side of change and courage is the letting go, is the surrendering and that's when you are falling and you surrender and you ask the universe, your teams, your spirit to hold you through this, to support you and to open your arms and your heart and to find very deeply that faith that you are so supported that no matter what happens, no matter how it looks, even if it looks terrifying, even if people are crying around you, even if people are screaming around you, even yeah. if everything looks like it's falling apart. Yeah. Because for some people, your change, it might feel like their world is going to fall apart. That's when you have to find that deep faith and trust and let go. That's the mm. other side of courage, you know, because it's facing the fear that's, that's, that's in there, the personality's fear that, ooh, this might happen, that might happen. It's about really facing that. Maybe it will happen. Is that going to be so bad? Yeah. Maybe that will happen. This will happen. Maybe that's part of the journey that it looks like I'm hurting people. It's going to hurt me. Uh, something bad may happen. I might lose this, this or this. It's, it's the key to expansion. It's the key to happiness. Letting go. We go on and on and on yeah. about letting go. Courage, let go to move forward with it. And you know, you've got no certainty and no guarantees with any step you yes. make. But understand, if you're afraid of making a mistake, if you just don't feel clarity, but you're still pulsed to make the move, no matter which direction you choose, guess who's got your back past that decision? Yes. Your spirit and your teams mm -hmm. and Gaia. Yeah. So no matter which way you jump, you're always going to be caught and you're going to get guidance from there. Mm -hmm. It's like if your GPS makes a wrong left turn, because sometimes mm -hmm. GPSs take you on wrong turns, <laughs> you turn around and you go back and you do another step. And then you finally get closer and closer to staying on track with the mission as guided. Yes. So don't be afraid to make a mistake. That's part of that courage. When you've gotten your guidance, that is step you know, key number one. So this is the keys again, key number one, get that clarity, get that guidance from spirit. Even if it takes a little while to get it, meditate on it. Even if it takes a few weeks or whatever, get that clarity. Two, willingness to change and sort the logistics. And three, get your courage up, get that embodied in you, do it, make the change, face your fears. You have nothing to lose. You have everything to gain. Absolutely. So those would be our three yeah. keys. Yeah, and, and uh, I was just reminded of the word, you know, explorer. Mm. This realm is about exploring. And so be that explorer. You do not know what you're going to find until you get there. And so trust your journey, explore you, explore the expansion of you. If you want something, you 
go for it, you know. Mm. And I, when I say when you want something, really from spirit, because one of the, the biggest initiations as a being here ascending is really letting go to that point where you have full trust that you will always be supported no matter what direction you take, mm. that you will you allow spirit to lift you up and place you where you need to be. And so it's really opening up to that, that you know, love warrior, the explorer of, okay, I'm doing this. Whatever I need to do, love I am willing. Warrior. Yeah, love and light warrior, the truth, the wisdom, backed up with love and support. So, you know, um, we have faith in you. We're here to remind you. So, you know, hold these keys really strong. Uh, we see it time and time again that, you know, really working with the personality, uh, with the logistics is, is going to assist, but don't get stuck there either. Keep, keep the flow moving, keep it flowing. So thank you guys. So many blessings on your change. If you resonate with what we're sharing, we invite you to be a part of this channel and comment below, even interact with each other in the comments. We'd really enjoy seeing that. And uh, subscribe, like this video, and the notification bell is really important if you want to continue to get updates yeah. from us. And check out the Ascension Consciousness reading on our website as well. It's going to give you a lot of powerful tips for your spiritual development and your Ascension process. You'll find the link in the description below. Thanks, guys. We Thank you so love much, guys. sharing with you. Many blessings. Jump. Be that explorer. You can do it. Yes, you have done so much more of this. You are galactic. You are so much more expansive than our personalities think us to believe. So yeah. many blessings and lots of love. Thank That's you. Enough.